Hello everybody, it's Farmsome Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. I thought I would do a very quick YouTube short on how to access mods from GitHub. Now, obviously we've seen Courseplay and we've seen Autodrive released over GitHub recently, but of course with Terrafarm the other day as well, I had a lot of questions in my comments about how to get the mod. It's not working for me. I don't know what to do when I get to GitHub. So I thought I'd quickly throw this together and uh, let you know how to do it. And it is super, super simple. Now, GitHub is a repository for developers. They can put all of their code in there. They can keep it in one place. It helps them release uh, new releases of their mod every time they make updates to it keeps all their code in one place it's basically a virtual to-do list people can report bugs they can attribute those to the developer and he can work through those and fix them and when he's fixed them he can release new updates so it's really de designed for developers it's not designed for us mere mortals in the general public so that probably explains why when you arrive at this page and you see these list of strange file names and things that it can be a little bit daunting but you don't need to worry about anything like that i have seen over the last few weeks uh, other youtubers telling you to download all the files individually copy them into a folder zip them up change the file names you don't need to do any of that as long as the developer has released a version of of their mod that they are happy for the general public to use it will be ready to download in one easy move so here we are on course play this is going to be the same for all mods but i'll do it for all three just to demonstrate it so here we are we are on the Courseplay GitHub page, so it should look like this. The way you'll know it looks right is if you see Courseplay, Courseplay FS22 here. So what you'll do now, uh, and it says here about Courseplay for Farming Simulator 22, all you need to do, don't worry about any of this code in here, don't worry about any of the navigation along the top here. Um, all you need to do go, is go to Releases here. And what you want to do is to click on Courseplay for FS22 version 7.0.012, which is what it is at the moment of recording this video. And it tells you there that it is the latest. And as you see when you mouse over it, it changes to a uh, clickable icon. So click on latest. It will take you to this page, which is the releases page. And what you want to do is scroll down here and it tells you what's been fixed in the, in the last release. And you'll see at the bottom assets here. And um, it's set up as you would the naming syntax for a standard FS22 mod. So FS22 underscore courseplay dot zip. That is the mod. You don't need to worry about source codes underneath that. This is the only file you need. So if you click on that, you'll see it will instantly download. Just to prove it's downloaded, there is my uh, WinZip file showing that it's been downloaded. I can also pull up my downloads. So there you go, FS22 courseplay has downloaded. It's as simple as that. Um, let's do the same for AutoDrive. So there you go. There's the AutoDrive GitHub page. Uh, release 2.002 at the moment, latest. Click on that. Scroll down under the bug fixes, new functions, other. So it's very, it's very interesting to find out what they've changed as well. But there you go again. FS22 underscore AutoDrive zip. That is the mod. All packaged up, ready to go and ready to drop into your mod folder. So again, click on that. It will download it for you. Again, just to confirm that's done that, if I go to my downloads now, there we go, AutoDrive is there now as well. Um, and then let's go to Terrafarm, which is the third one that people have been asking about. So there is the page, um, there's the code that you don't need to worry about. Again, releases 3.4.1, latest. Let's click on latest, FS22 Terrafarm. So click on that, it downloads that as well. Again, just to confirm that it's done it, downloads. Courseplay, Autodrive, and Terrafarm all ready in my downloads folder. So what I'm going to do now is pull up my mods folder, open up mods here, copy these three into my mods folder. As you can see, there's no other mods in my mod folder at the moment. And let's launch the game. So game loading here. Let's start a new game. Let's go New Farmer and let's go Elm Creek. And as you can see, there you go. Autodrive, Courseplay, Terrafarm all ready to go. They're all ticked. And we are good to go. So that should work in your game. There you go. There's the prompt for course play. Everything's good. So, like I said, don't worry about downloading um, random files, uh, packaging them, renaming stuff, change it. That will get you confused. Just go to the latest release, download the latest release, and you should be good to go. I hope you found that useful. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now.